Well, if you've never been inside Angelo's and Vinci's, you are in for a treat. This great restaurant, named after Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, those famous Italians, features fresh Italian food and drink in a beautiful and unique setting. Few businesses in Fullerton can boast the long history and deep community connections as Angelo's and Vinci's. Been a Fullerton staple since 1971. So we're going to go inside and get a, a feel for this really unique location and learn what they have in store for us. Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia Peck with Angelo's and Vinci's restaurant and we look forward to serving you. Wow, just a look around can give you a little idea of what's so unique about it. We've been located in downtown Fullerton since 1971. Fullerton is where I live, where I work. I, I love this town. And it was founded by my late husband in 1971, an actor, dancer, choreographer. I joined him in 1983. But we have a lot of his film and acting career in the, um, in the restaurant photos, as well as uh, the unique atmosphere of dining in the midst of an Italian town square. So we have all the storefronts dedicated to the family family ancestors and what they did when they immigrated from Sicily to the United States. We decided we had to keep up our Christmas tree because we got so cheated out of Christmas this year. So it's going to be up, mm, I don't know, maybe Christmas in July, maybe longer. We'll see. It's kind of a fun story. <laughs> so my husband, who was an, a choreographer, he had two dance studios, one in LA, and he was teaching a master class at Cal State Fullerton. And what he did in the master class, or after he taught it, somebody came and said, there's a, a ballet maestro named Paul Pretroff who's uh, teaching on the stage of the Fox Theater and he would like to see you. And my husband knew the name Paul Petroff and came over and he said he wanted to retire. He wanted to go back to, I think, Denmark. And um, would Steve take over the studio? So Steve said yes, and he took over the studio on the stage of the Fox Theater. And so he had the two studios and about a year later he decided he needed a place to feed the dancers where they could work and make money to pay for classes and and that's how Angela's Minches started just as a little cafe beer and wine as a as a place to feed the dancers and then it's evolved into this we have been diligent in our commitment to the safety of our customers and our team. We have followed all government mandates, protocols, suggestions by the CDC, the OSHA, WHO. We have followed everything diligently. And I know we're very fortunate to have the space that we're able to do this. Uh, the city of Fullerton was so wonderfully cooperative in giving us um, dedicated outdoor dining space in our parking lot in the back. And uh, like I said, we do, we're fortunate to be a large restaurant um, and we're able to spread out and make everybody comfortable. We've implemented sanitation stations at every terminal at the host station in, the, in our to-go kitchen. We have special, your table has been sanitized, cards that we put on the table. We went to the um, scanned menus, although we do have some disposables. The, the staff is of course gloved and masked and we ask the same respect of our customers to be masked at all times times that they're not seated. We go through regular sanitizing throughout the shift. We've done the individual packaging. We have special ingress egress so that as you come into the restaurant you enter one way and you have less chance of meeting somebody as they leave the restaurant through a different route. Uh, we've got an outdoor waiting area. Everything's socially distanced. Plexiglass at the bar, plexiglass in our WAPO's kitchen. I could go on and on. <laughs> Well, one thing I hope will happen soon is we're able to have our events again, the weddings and the birthday celebrations. But we're just so happy to have been able to keep our menu at the same quality of food, the same pricing as pre-pandemic. But we have all the, the fresh made pesto with the fresh basil leaves. We make our lasagna, the cannelloni, the mezzalunas, the, the uh, bertolinis are all made by hand. All the sauces are made by hand. I still have my team here. They've been with me, the key guys in the kitchen, anywhere from, from 10 to, to 30 years. My secretary, daytime manager, has been here the whole time, almost 50 years. So I'm very blessed, very blessed to have my team. We have these great um, family-style me meals to go. Uh, it's not something we can even offer through DoorDash. It's just too good a value. Uh, but it's family style for, say, five people, a family lasagna, meatballs. It comes with a loaf of garlic bread, 
We have spaghetti with meatballs and garlic bread. We have a uh, family pasta pizza dinner where you can get a large pizza with the, the pasta. We have family um, salads, like antipastos that'll serve five to 10 people. Green salads serve five to 10 people. And it makes for a really handy if you're not able to go out or you have the kids. We look forward to serving everyone, we certainly do. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for their uh, patronage through this, this very, very trying time. I'd like to thank my team for staying with us through this time. It's just so great to see people's faces again, <laughs> to have them come in and, well, half their faces most of the time, but while they're eating <laughs> and their faces. And it's just great to, to be able to interact and to get back to our, to our patrons and back to what we love doing here. <laughs>